welcome back to my channel and a very good uh, morning to watch in this video. So, a month or so back when I started the first coverage uh, on Fiber Web India Limited. So, the main reason why I started to cover basically was their plan regarding this flat bond. So, basically, Fiber Web India, if you don't know, I think or you should know, Fiber Web India is a technological textile company. I mean, there are several textile companies in India which cater to only this clothing segment etc but there are certain segments textile segments in India which contribute to the specific need of this technology right and fiber of India being a melt blown I mean is they are the largest melt blown fabrics in India and now they are venturing into flat mode I will discuss all this history videos we go and search also there will be but uh, let me discuss one of the important point. Uh, I think on 11th of February, the company's quarter of their results is coming. Okay, so one of the key main factors why did I like in this paper that I alluded is that one of the reasons basically the market capital. Okay, I think the market capital was in the range of around 84 crores right now. When I started the coverage, I think it was 60 crores or so. So, and the second thought I'm having is that the company is also already making quite significant profit. They don't have debt, their debt is nil. And solidly they are earning profit per quarter of 4 crores. So if they contribute till this year end like this, so 16 crores of profit, so 10 times of market capital, which gives you around 160 crores of market capital, which is their book value actually. So the share is already trading half of its book value. I think book value is in the price of around 51 rupees or 52 rupees. But I think the share price is trading the range of around 29 rupees as you can see here. I think after as I started coverage, I think many times it has crossed. 34 rupees, one time it has reached the 35 rupees and made a little bit high, but again it has come down. But one of the main factors, as my friends know, I just I don't always concentrate on this share price movement, rather I just focus on what the company is planning to do. If you go and see many management call videos, right, in which the management is saying that uh, their flat bone business is going to be a turnaround story for the company. Actually, Fiber of India was one of the multi bagger stocks uh, previously, but Due to the export ban from this USA thing, I think they lost a major portion of revenue as well as profit. But I think COVID has helped this company to come up to a greater extent because their uh, melt blown is the key material for this PPE kit and we discussed all these things already. Now what is still pending in the market is the momentum that we lose in the market. Okay, so it is going to be very very important how this quarter third result is going to come because uh, there was those years when the company posted 16 to 20 crores of profit per year. Okay, so which basically means four and a half to five crores per quarter. I think that kind of performance if they can show, I think is going to be very very important because since uh, because the flat bone business is going to provide a major revenue. And uh, you can ask me uh, why uh, anybody could start this flat board business and go to a greater extent. That is the main problem. Since starting this way, this is a technologically involved textile uh, segment in the in our textile industry segment. So it requires a lot of knowledge or a lot of expertise before entering into the segments. Since Fiber of India is already involved in this technological testing for over a long period of time, it makes them easy to get it. And since flat bond companies are very less all over the world, it increases the price and pressure of the company. Okay, And since this is going to be the case, the company can fix any price to they want and the company can make it. Because as when the demand goes up, I think the price of the supply will be very very less because as when you see what is the management saying that uh, year after year the demand is increasing at a greater phase but the supply is very very limited and if that is going to be the case the profitability of this company could be in a greater level and I mean not I have said that but the company's management also said that I think in, in coming days I think I will also post a video of this management what they tried to say so that I think it would be helpful for the viewers were saying it and also it would be helpful for the future people who may buy this or who may not. I think this quarter three is going to be very, very important and newly they have sought the permission and now they are going to list in national stock exchange also. So previously they were listed only in Bombay stock exchange, now they are going to list in national stock exchange. So which can add even more transparency as well as it can add even more a sense of good confidence in the share because 
it is a new type of confidence by the Shah Alam Singh listed in Bombay Stock Exchange as well as in National Stock Exchange. Because if that is going to be the case, the things could be vary a lot and it could provide a beautiful valuation for Paper of India. But as I already said, I am expecting at least a book value range of this company. So let us see how many months it's going to take. But I believe in this. I think they said that 2020 they will be they will be starting off this flat bond production. So I think maybe possibly one and a half years or more. So let us wait and let us see how they are going to do it and let us be hopeful. Thank you, friends, and bye.